Hi everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we're making wontons and chili oil. To start this dish, we need to choppy chop up two scallions, both the whites and the green parts. And while we're here, we're also going to mince up three cloves of garlic for our chili oil, just giving those a nice little smash and then a nice little mince. Now for our dumpling filling, I have a pound of ground pork, we're adding in two teaspoons of salt, a tablespoon of sugar, a teaspoon of white pepper, and two tablespoons of Shaoxing wine or sake. Adding in our scallions, and then we're going to grate in two cloves of garlic. The reason we're going to grate this in is because we don't want large chunks. We definitely want that flavor, but we really want this incorporated throughout. Then we're going to give this a nice thorough mix with the stiff spatula. And you're going to note your filling is well mixed once it starts to get tacky. Now at this point, I like to fry off a little piece. That way I can taste it and make sure the seasoning is correct and this is tasting good. Now for this, I'm using store-bought wrappers just because I feel they hold up better when you're boiling dumplings. I like to do a damp paper towel over the top so it doesn't dry out. So to fill these, we are going to take a teaspoon of our filling, pop it right in the middle of our wonton wrapper. Taking a little water, we're going to just wet the edges, fold this in half in a triangle, and start pushing out from the middle. We want to push out as much air as possible. Now we're going to make a little indent in the middle of our filling and start folding this over kind of like a tortellini. Just wetting that so it sticks and gathering those two edges. And I like to tuck in those little pointy parts. We're just going to place this on a parchment lined baking sheet that I've powdered with some cornstarch so nothing sticks. Now these definitely go faster if you have a dumpling buddy. This is just me making these and they took me about 45 minutes. So I just popped on some really good music and just got lost in this whole process. Now this is the last one. And now we have a beautiful tray full of little tiny dumplings. Now these are super cute. To me, they look like little bottoms wrapped in a diaper. I know, not the best comparison for food, but they are adorable. We're going to pop these in the fridge and let them rest while we work on our chili oil. Don't forget to clean your bench and sanitize it, especially when you're using raw proteins. Now in a dry pan, we're going to toast up two teaspoons of Szechuan peppercorns and eight whole chilies just for two minutes. Then we're going to pop them in a mortar and pestle or a food processor and give this a really good bashing. Now in a small bowl, I'm mixing in three tablespoons of black vinegar, two tablespoons of soy sauce, a tablespoon of sugar, and our minced garlic, just giving that a stir till the sugar dissolves. In a heat proof bowl, we can tip in our crushed chili and two tablespoons of sesame seeds. Then we are gonna slowly add in a quarter of a cup of hot oil, and this is gonna bubble and pop. Then we're gonna add in two tablespoons of sesame oil, and then our soy vinegar and garlic mixture. Now in some simmering, simmering water, simmering, simmering water, we're ready to boil our dumplings. I let these boil for about five minutes. You always have to have a sacrificial dumpling. You don't wanna serve raw pork, and these need to go another two minutes. So after seven minutes, we can take these out and pop them right into the bowl that we're serving in. And then to plate, we are going to drizzle with our chili oil. This is face numbingly hot because of the Szechuan peppercorns. So if you can't take a lot of heat, just go lightly. You can always add more. Then to garnish, we're going to top with a little toasted peanut. And for some color, we're going to add a little chopped scallion. And this is looking appetizing and absolutely beautiful. Now let's go ahead and give these a taste. If I can get it to my mouth. The dumpling wrappers are tender and just kind of melt in your mouth. The pork is juicy and flavorful. It's a little sweet from the sugar, but you get that savoriness from the garlic and the chili oil is very hot. It's everything that I love. It warms the cockles of my heart. It's making my nose run. It's making me sweat, but this is absolutely delicious. But there it is, wontons and chili oil. I really do hope you all try to make these. Thank you so much for taking some time out of your day to spend some time with me. I really do appreciate it. If you like this video, give it a like. 
If you loved it, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell because I put out new videos every Thursday. Thank you again, and until next time, happy cooking.